This box has been sitting in my room for like a month and I've not opened it because I wanted to unbox it on the vlog and then set it up. <laughs> Dinosaur. Come on. Piece of trash. No wonder they're extinct. We're gonna put it up against the wall. We're gonna draw a little target on it. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Come on, I just gotta make one shot. So because this is a setup video, there's probably going to be a skateboard in here. Well, I hope there's a board in here. If there's not, then I don't have a skateboard. Let's crack it open. To this day, opening a box with a skateboard in it is the best feeling ever. Alright, let's see what's in here. A nice little love letter from Hermes into the cup. Ooh, a nice little baby blue t-shirt. One sticker. Two sticker. 8.5. I hope it's a rad one for you, in Mac. Thank you, Mac. Got the white graphic with a trumpet on it. And then we got a sheet of Jessup. So this box is from 91 Skateboards and you guys probably haven't heard about it because it's kind of a small company. They're a local skate company from where I live. I live in this tiny little town called Arbroath in Scotland. And a guy runs a skateboard company from there and I skate with him sometimes and he was kind enough to hook me up with a box. Everyone watching this video, go follow 91. Their Instagram is on the screen right here. At the moment, they're really close to 5K on Instagram. They're like 150 away and when they hit that, they're doing a giveaway. I think he's giving away a board and then a bunch of t-shirts. So if you guys want to win some free stuff, their link is down in the description. I also think they have a sale on their website, I'll put that in the description as well. So because I've done quite a lot of setup videos on this channel, I figured for this one I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Now setting up a board is pretty basic, there's not that much that can go wrong, but there's definitely a couple of things you can do to make it a little bit easier. And over the years I've set up a lot of boards, so I'm going to show you guys some of the hacks slash secrets or just things that I do to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to start off by showing you guys what parts I'm riding. So for this board I'm using the same trucks, wheels, bearings and bolts that I had on my last setup. I'm just changing out the deck and the grip. So the trucks that I'm skating are the standard 148 Thunder trucks. And then for the wheels, I'm skating Kruppi wheels. This is kind of a new company. I think they're from Spain. I've been skating them for like a month and they're the best wheels I think I've ever skated. And then inside the wheels, I'm just using Bones Red's bearings. And then the board is obviously this new 91 board that I just opened and then Jessup grip tape. The thing that's a little bit different about this board, I usually skate 825, but this is an 8.5, so this board's a little bit wider, but I kind of wanted to try out something a little bit bigger just to see what it skates like. This is kind of a hack, but it's also just some advice. If this is your first time setting up a board and you don't know anything about skateboarding I recommend just going down to a skate shop and then ask them what they recommend for a beginner's first skateboard they'll be able to help you pick out a good board and get you something that's gonna skate good also usually when you pick out a full skateboard from a skate shop they can give you some sort of discount or give you something for free like usually when you buy a board they'll sometimes give you free grip tape or if you buy like a full skateboard they can give you like 10% off or something let's start setting this board up This board is sick. And now we're gonna put the grip tape on it. Also, this part is really satisfying. It's just like a giant sticker. You wanna lay it down on top of the board and then just work your way up from the middle. If you do this carefully, you shouldn't get any air bubbles, but if you do, it's not that big of a problem. You wanna get the sheet that came off the back of the grip tape and then lay it down on top of the board. I never usually do it this way, but I'm gonna do it for this one. Have your board on the floor and then just work out all the air bubbles and make sure it's really stuck to the board. You can do a little dance. If you don't want to use your feet, you can just do it with your hands. But it's always kind of fun if you do it with your feet. The grip tape should be really stuck down and have no air bubbles. And then you want to just get anything metal that you can score the grip tape with. I usually just use this little Allen key that comes with the skate tool. If you don't have a skate tool, you can get it at any skate shop. And now you're just going to score it along the edge of the board so you can get an outline of where to cut with a razor. The more that you file the board down to mark the outline, the easier it's going to be to cut with the razor blade. Because this line here will start to get thinner, so it's going to cut through a lot easier. Now you just want to take a razor blade, make sure it's really sharp, that's going to give you the best results. If it's kind of blunt, then the cut's going to be kind of jagged and it's not going to look very nice. So make sure you have a really sharp razor because it's going to be much easier to cut with. And also, before you start cutting it up, all this grip tape's going to be stuck down to the edge. So just peel it back up a little bit so you can actually get your knife under it. Otherwise, you're just going to start cutting into the 
board. Like if you can see here, the grip tape's all stuck to the board. Just peel it up so you can actually cut the grip tape out. I made that mistake a bunch of times when I was first setting up my boards and I was like cutting into the wood. Now once the grip tape's all peeled up, you can just poke your razor through the grip tape and then start cutting around the board really carefully. I find it easiest to just pop it underneath and then cut towards myself, which is kind of not really what you're supposed to do with a razor or a knife, but I find it's the easiest way. It doesn't matter too much how neat you cut it out, but if it looks something like this, then you should be fine. If you cut it out all bad, it doesn't really matter because it's gonna get all messed up when you start skating it anyway. And then you wanna take some of the grip tape that you just cut off and then sand around the edges of the board. This is just gonna make sure that the grip tape is fully stuck down to the board and it's not gonna start peeling up. I always smack the board after it just to get all that grip dust off. It feels horrible when your hands are all covered in grip tape. So now that the grip tape's all sanded down, you wanna flip it over so you can see the holes for the bolts and then find something like an Allen key that you can poke through the holes. If you want to put any stickers on your board, now's the best time to do it. Because your trucks aren't going to be in the way to put the stickers down wherever you want. I don't usually put that many stickers on my board, but I've got a couple for this one. When you're putting your trucks on, you want to make sure the kingpin is always facing in the way on both of the trucks so it looks like that. And then go around all the bolts and screw it on with your fingers. Also, if you're not skating brand new trucks, I recommend marking which one is your front one and which one is your back one. Because the way you do grinds and the way you turn, your truck's breaking differently. So your front truck and your back truck are going to turn differently. So you want to make sure when you're switching setup not to mix up the trucks. And I always do this by just putting a sticker on my front truck when I take them off my last board. And it stops me from mixing them up. My least favorite part about setting up a board is doing the trucks. Breaks my wrist every single time. And also, whenever you're doing your bolts, you want to tighten them diagonally. So you want to go this one, and then this one, and then that one, and then that one. This is just going to make sure that your trucks tighten evenly, and it's not going to be tighter or looser on one side. We just hit 12,000 subscribers on this channel. That is sick. 12,002. Touch it. Oh no! What happened? I've had that for years, <laughs> like years. You broke your little bracelet. People don't wear these anymore, Goldie. Exactly, I've had that for, like my kids gave me that. All right, come on Goldie, do it for the broken bracelet. I tried this trick for like two hours the other day and I couldn't get it. <laughs> Tries like that just annoy me. You're so close you could have landed it but you didn't. I'm getting Goldie to get my board for me because every time I step on the grass, my feet get all covered in mud. He's my little assistant on this trick. 100% commitment, all or nothing, if I get it. You gotta, you gotta give it one of these. 
What's that? Punching. What do I do? Do I make a fist and do you touch? What? Although I got it, I want to get it one more time. Goodbye, Goldie. Look at the sky right now. This is my favorite thing about winter. When the sun starts to set, the sky looks amazing. We got the trick, I'm hyped. Been wanting to do that for a long time. I'm trying to get my impossibles better because I really want to do it down the stair set soon. I'm working on it though, it's still really scary to do it off a ledge. And guys, we're gonna wrap up the video there. If you liked it, hit the like button, leave me a comment down below. Comment the word spleen if you want to randomly be featured in these videos like one of these people on the screen right now. Also, everyone go follow 91 Skateboards and if you want to get a board for yourself, the link's also down in the description. Subscribe if you're not ready. We just hit 12K, so let's try hit 13K before the end of October. If we could do that, that would be really sick. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.